good day. This is Trip, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading an IRS regulation, which will probably bore you to sleep or relaxation. The Internal Revenue Service of the United States is the agency which collects our taxes, which of course we love to pay. I believe the similar agency in the United Kingdom is the Inland Revenue. And of course, every country has one. And naturally, I have a story to go along with this. The first job that I interviewed for after graduating with my bachelor's degree was in the, the summer or fall of 1976, and I interviewed for the IRS. Sadly, I did not get the job. Maybe someday I'll do a video about rejection, how to deal with it. I wasn't too worried though, and pretty soon after, I got a job with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the FDIC, which insures bank deposits. Anyway, this is the regulation on entertainment. And by the way, I'm going to read my PayPal contributors at the end of this video. I hope they don't mind having their names shouted out. Section 1.274-2B, parentheses 1, parentheses I, parentheses, of the income tax regulations provides that the term entertainment means any activity which is of a type generally considered to constitute entertainment, amusement, or recreation such as entertaining at nightclubs, cocktail lounges, theaters, country clubs, golf and athletic clubs, sporting events, and on hunting, fishing, vacation, and similar trips, including such activity relating solely to the taxpayer or the taxpayer's family. The term entertainment does not include activities which, although satisfying personal, living, or family needs of an individual, are clearly not regarded as constituting entertainment, such as a supper money provided by an employer to an employee working overtime, b a hotel room maintained by an employer for lodging of employees while in business travel status, or C, an automobile used in the active conduct of trade or business, even though also used for personal purposes, such as commuting to and from work. On the other hand, the providing of a hotel room or an automobile by an employer to an employee who is on vacation would constitute entertainment of the employee. Section 1.274-2 Paragraph B, parentheses 1, parentheses 2, provides that an objective test shall be used to determine whether an activity is of a type generally considered to constitute entertainment. Thus, if an activity is generally considered to be entertainment, 
it will constitute entertainment for purposes of Section 274A and Section 1.274-2, regardless of whether the expenditure for the activity can also be described otherwise, and even though the expenditure relates to the taxpayer alone. Thus, attending a theatrical performance would generally be considered entertainment if it would, it would not be considered entertainment for a professional theater critic attending in a professional capacity. Similarly, if a manufacturer of dresses conducts a fashion show to introduce its products to a group of store buyers, the show generally would not be considered to constitute entertainment. In contrast, if an appliance distributor conducts a fashion show for its retailers, the fashion show generally would be considered to constitute entertainment. I'm going to have to skip ahead with some of this. Some of it is too boring and sleep-inducing for me to cover it all. Taxpayers may deduct 50% of an otherwise allowable business meal expense if the expense is an ordinary and necessary expense under Section 162A paid or incurred during the taxable year in carrying out any trade or business. Two, the expense is not lavish or extravagant. Three, the taxpayer or an employee of the taxpayer is present at the furnishing of the food or beverages. Four, the food and beverages are provided to a current or potential business customer, client, consultant, or similar business contact. And five, in the case of food and beverages provided during or at an entertainment activity, the food and beverages are purchased separately from the entertainment or the cost of the food and beverages is stated separately from the cost of the entertainment on one or more bills, invoices, or receipts. Examples. Example one. Taxpayer A invites B, a business contact, to a baseball game. A purchased tickets for B. A purchased tickets for A and B to attend the game. While at the game, A buys hot dogs and drinks for A and B. The basketball game is entertainment as defined in section 1.274-2B Princesses one, princesses I, and thus the cost of the game tickets is an entertainment expense and is not deductible by A. The cost of the hot dogs and drinks, which are purchased separately from the game tickets, is not an entertainment expense and is not subject to the section 274A, parenthesis 1, disallowance. Therefore, A may deduct 50% of the expenses associated with the hot dogs and drinks purchased at the game. Example 2. Taxpayer C invites D, a business contact, 
to a basketball game. C. Purchase tickets for C. And D. To attend the game in a suite where they have access to food and beverages. The cost of the basketball game and tickets, as stated on the invoice, includes the food and beverages. The basketball game is entertainment, as defined in section 1.274-2B, parenthesis 1I, and thus the cost of the game tickets is an entertainment expense and is not deductible by C. The cost of the food and beverages, which are not purchased separately from the game tickets, is not stated separately on the invoice. Thus, the cost of the food and beverages also is an entertainment expense that is subject to the Section 274A1 disallowance. Therefore, C may not deduct any of the expenses associated with the basketball game. Example 3. Assume the same facts as in Example 2, except that the invoice for the basketball game tickets separately states the cost of the food and beverages. As in Example 2, the basketball, the basketball game is entertainment, as defined in Section 1.274-2B1I and thus the cost of the game tickets, other than the cost of the food and beverages, is an entertainment expense and is not deductible by C. However, the cost of the food and beverages, which is stated separately on the invoice for the game tickets, is not an entertainment expense and is not subject to the Section 274 A1 disallowance. Therefore, C may deduct 50% of the expenses associated with the food and beverages provided at the game. I think the point of this was that if you're going to try to charge off your entertainment expense, you need to break things out separately on the invoice, the cost of the entertainment from the food and the beverages. Of course, I was half asleep when I read this. That's as far as I'm going to go, lest I fall over asleep in the middle of this. I promise to note the PayPal contributors donators Michael Kalinda Donna Hutchins, Hutchins and Angie Chang who actually donated twice well and hope you will subscribe to the channel and watch videos share comment maybe you'll give it the thumbs up And I guess that is all for this time. This is Trip, and I'll say sayonara. Crickets. <laughs>